Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now today I want to talk to you about how to choose the right color for your wig, the right wig color. Now I have on the uh, Trendsetter in, by Raquel Welsh and this one is in glazed vanilla, glazed vanilla. And I really like this particular color because it is one of the lightest colors that still looks good on me. And it's kind of a Mae Whitman color, if you know the actress in Hope Floats that plays the grandmother um, or the mother. And um, this, it's a, it's a very light, light blonde color. When you have blonde hair and blue or green eyes and you have those cool features, you want to make sure that you don't go too far into the grays because the grays can be uh, unflattering and not complimentary to the way you look. Remember, you want to look good, not break the bank. So you don't have to go to all sorts of expenses buying uh, expensive wigs to choose the right color. First thing you want to do is choose a style. And whatever style you choose, make sure it's one that flatters your face shape. That's the first thing. And this one does. It kicks out to the side. It's got a little height and it's got fluffy bangs for me. And I really like this one. I'm not wearing earrings today because I've got like six wigs to show you different colors. So I'm not wearing wigs. I don't wear it when I have a whole bunch of wigs. I've found that they get tangled up in the wig. So I don't do that. So the first thing you want to do when you're choosing your color is decide if you're a warm skin tone or a cool skin tone. And I would be a cool skin tone. Warm skin tones, I have a, um, actually I have a whole video which I will leave a link to in the description box below explaining all about how to figure out whether you're warm or cool and all about skin tones and so forth. So once you determine that, we're going to go on, um, determine whether you're warm or cool. Warmer tones will look good in cool tones color because it complements it. So you want to choose blondes and you want to choose cool browns and brassy reds. So those are people with uh, warm skin tones. For darker skin tones, go two to three shades lighter or darker than your natural hair color for contrast because otherwise you'll look all the same like a monotone so you don't want to do that you want to you don't want your hair color and your skin tone to match or be so close that it just makes you look all one color so you want to go two to three shades lighter or darker so Anyways, I'm going to move on and I'm going to move off this wig. This is one of the prettiest color of light blondes that I have. And this is glazed vanilla. And I really like this color by Raquel Welsh. So I'm gonna put that one up by its wig head. The next one is a beautiful color of gold blondes. This is a really cool example of gold blondes with cool tones like mine. So you're going to find out, and I'm gonna show you later on about warm tones. Okay, so this is a Paula Young wig, and this is in Golden Lights. And you can see the beautiful gold tones in this wig. And that's what really makes this wig stand out. Sorry, I have to get my, my mirror. Stand out especially with people with cool tones. They're going to look good and look much better in these kind of gold toned wigs. Um, anyways, moving on, I'm gonna to go to a different one. So that's a gold toned wig. This is a, um, a red, okay? This is, a, no, this is the caramel cream, that's right. This is the Coco wig by Renee of Paris. And she is in K 
caramel cream. So what you've got here are lots of beautiful highlights. And I wanted to show you this one as an example of the way you can go when you have cool tones like mine. And it's you can go to these kind of, oops, let me get that straight. These beautiful tones, I love the cocoa. The cocoa is just a really cute, cute wig. And you can go to these cool tones. You see all of the different colored blondes in this caramel color, this caramel blonde. There's a little bit of red in it. There's a little bit of light blonde in it, some dark blondes. And that is especially attractive on people with cool tones. When you have all kinds of different color blondes in there, different kinds of colors in there, it is especially attractive. So that's a consideration. A caramel color like this is always a very, very good choice. Now, um, if you have medium cool skin tones, pick a chocolate color. No blacks, but warm highlights will work for you. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to show you the Diana in Caramel Kiss by Aesthetica. Now, this is a chocolate colored wig that would fit the bill there. And it's got golden highlights. Let me get it straight. So this one would be especially good on people with medium cool tones. All right. And it's also, whoops, yep. it also works for um, girls like me with the uh, cool tones because it contrasts the eye color and it makes my eyes pop. So these browns and dark colors, but also, with the gold, all of this, this is Caramel Kiss, and with all of these gold tones in it, it absolutely is amazing color on blondes. People who are naturally have cool tones and are blonde hair, blue-eyed, green-eyed, whatever. It's going to make your eyes pop, and it's going to make you look amazing. In this wig so that's just another thing and the warm tone the warm the uh, medium cool tones as well okay so moving on you want a chocolate cover no blacks blacks would not be good on me and um, if you're a medium cool skin tone you don't want that but the warm chocolate color with the highlights will look fantastic Highlights in general will work for just about everyone. It always look good, looks good because hair is never just one color. It's always a combination of darks and lights and blondes and, and browns and darks and stuff or golds and even whites sometimes. Sometimes in the summer my hair is pure white in some areas, my natural hair color. Okay. And it's not just the gray, it's just my hair gets bleached out in the summertime, the blondish ones. I know it doesn't look so much there now because I've got it plastered back because it keeps coming up here. So I've used wig spray and all sorts of stuff on my hair to keep it down. So now for darker skin tones, you want to go two to three shades lighter or darker than your natural hair color. And... Um, that's just a rule of thumb. You don't want to be monotone. Um, so I've got the pale and the medium and the highlights. So I think we can move on now to uh, eye color. So with eye color, you want to make your eyes pop. And you saw just now how the dark colored wigs with the gold highlights really make my eyes pop. So. Choose a wig color that trans that contrasts with your eyes. If you have the warmer eyes, you want to choose with a brown, yellow, green, 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 blue, turquoise, and so forth. You should try a cooler toned wig like blondes, 
light reds, soft browns with gold highlights. And here I have a lighter shade of red. This is the caramel in Soft Romance. And this is a color that really does look good with my green eyes. Now I've got blue eyeshadow on, so today they're looking kind of blue, more blue than green. Sometimes they do that. <laughs> so, anyways, here is the Soft Romance, and this is in that caramel color. And you can see how beautiful the, the light reds can look on a cool complexion like me. Just really, really stunning, actually. Got a proposal of marriage one time. Just kidding. But <laughs> anyways, it is this red skin tone. I mean, this light red color, not skin tone, but the light red color that really, really can look amazing. So you can choose, you know, a really light, light blonde, like the trendsetter, or you can choose the golden, like the golden lights, or you could choose the caramel color with all of these colors in it, darks and lights and blondes and reds, all in there, or you can choose a pretty red. So this is just a gorgeous color on a cool person. Now, people with warm skin tones, remember, are going to go and wear, where is it, um, blondes, cool browns, and brassy reds. Blondes, cool browns, like this one back here, and brassy reds. This is a lighter shade red, the soft romance. I'm talking about a brassy red. Would look good on a darker complexion. Someone who has warm skin tones. Now, this is the Frenchie, and this is iced champagne color. So, this is another one that looks really, really good on cooler skin tones. And that's what I am, so that's what I can show you and demonstrate to you. I can't demonstrate what looks good on darker skin tones because I'm not dark. So anyways, this is the champagne color, which is beautiful. This is the little Frenchie by Tony of Beverly Hills, one of my little favorite wigs. And you can see how that champagne color just looks amazing. And it just highlights my skin and makes me glow. It just really does. It's a beautiful wig and I've got so many compliments on this particular wig and the color. So, 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 so many. Okay, now there's one last wig I'm going to show you. And this is my, I have to get down to the end of the bench, sorry. This is my funky favorite. <laughs> I'll say it that way. This is the Cerise in Moonstruck. Why do I love this wig? Because the color is actually complementary. Now this would look good also on anyone who has a warm skin tone. These light, these grays will look great on people with a warmer skin tone. But this one here is more of an icy color gray or blonde or whatever you want to call it. I don't think it's a blonde, I think it's a gray, I'm not sure. But whatever it is, it is awesome. And I get the best compliments on this particular wig. The Moonstruck color is just amazing. It is a funky color. It is something that most people uh, probably would wonder if they would look good in. But trust me, you're going to look good in it either way. Just because it's got rootedness right here. As you can see, I don't know what I'm doing with this wig here. I'm looking for styling, but anyways, the rooting of it really sets it off. You can see those dark undertones all around. 
and it really does. See, it's all the way around the crown. You can see the dark undertones, and you can see it going down right in there when you part the wig. So it makes for a very, very stunning uh, look. Even if you have brown eyes, this wig is gonna look good on you. Even with blue eyes, it's gonna look good on you and my green eyes. It's gonna contrast and complement your eye color. So that's my story today on coloring and choosing a right color wig. And it all starts out with first choosing a style and then deciding if you're warm or cool tone. And I have a way to find out in the description box below. I hope this video was helpful to you on these cool tones and warm tones and what kind of wig to wear. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I wish I had somebody dark here that I could put some wigs on and show, but I do not. So anyways, this is my story for today with cool wig tones. Now I wanna to talk to you about something else. I wanna to talk to you about believing. Friends, the time is so short. I've been reading and praying and the Lord has been speaking to me about the shortness of time. He has said, Barbara, the time is really short. I'm coming back very, very soon. That's what Jesus has been telling me as late as last night. So please, please, if you're listening to this video, take this seriously. Jesus loves you so much. He loves you from the depths of his heart. And he wants you to come to him. He wants you to challenge him to prove that he is real. Challenge him. Ask him, Jesus, if you're real, show it to me. He will. But the bottom line is trust in Jesus. Trust in him. Ask him into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins, make you white and clean as snow. Help have him come into your heart. Let the Holy Spirit come in and dwell within you. And he will help you through the struggles of this life and beyond. The time is very, very short, folks. It's time to make a decision. And I pray that you do so today. And that's my story for today. And I will see you Tomorrow, I'm wearing the Cerise and Moonstruck, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.